Round of, yes, sir. Thank you, Matt. On Bangladesh, Bangladesh government is very attacking on freedom of speech and freedom of association. At least three people, three opposition activists killed recent days. And U.S. imposed sanction on Rapid Action Battalion, but Bangladesh Prime Minister just returning back from the U.S. mentioned that the RAB, which is uh, sanctioned by the U.S. for serious abuse of human rights, she told that the RAB created by U.S. and U.S. provided training and logistic and arms, and now they are acting for the training they have got from the U.S. What is your comment on that? about this authoritarian prime minister remarks? Well, the fact is that uh, based on credible information implicating uh, the Rapid Action Battalion or the RAB in gross violations uh, of human rights, we did end assistance to the RAB in 2018. This was some uh, four years ago that we ceased our assistance to this group. And in fact, in, in December, December of last year, December of 2021, uh, we sanctioned the RAB as well as six current and former officers under uh, what's known as our Global Magnitsky Sanctions uh, Regime in connection with uh, the RAB's involvement in uh, serious and gross uh, human rights abuse. Uh, and we publicly designated two former RAB officials uh, under a separate authority, 7031C, uh, for their involvement in gross violations uh, of human rights. Whether it is in Bangladesh, whether it's uh, anywhere else in um, uh, South Asia, or anywhere else around the world, uh, we have placed human rights at the center of our uh, foreign, foreign policy. And we are committed, likewise, to drawing attention to and putting a spotlight on uh, those who are responsible for human, viol human rights violations uh, when they occur. Uh, these sanctions and these visa restrictions uh, aim to promote accountability and reform for the RAB and to deter human rights abuse uh, globally. Uh, and just as we hold uh, these actors accountable, we'll continue to partner with countries to develop uh, their own capacity to fight crime, to administer justice, uh, and to safeguard uh, the rule of law. Our training to Bangladesh security forces uh, promotes uh, these very principles. And what is your comment about the opposition government is attacking on opposition, peaceful demonstration and you know, freedom of speech and freedom of association? Our comment when it comes to uh, any attack on those who are exercising the universal right to freedom of assembly, uh, to freedom of uh, expression is the same. People everywhere, people anywhere, have every right uh, to uh, use their voice, to assemble peacefully, uh, to make their aspirations known uh, in a way that is peaceful and respects the rule of law. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.